to another edition of El Cubanito Cigars Review. This week, an awesome stogie. So I hear, because I haven't hit it yet. But uh, we're going to uh, review the Tatuaje Black Label Tubo. You know, two Spanish, English, giving you a little bilinguality there. So this cigar I came about uh, twice in one day. Once I just saw it. The second time I got one. Thanks, Bob. Um, this all Nicaraguan blend, six and an eighth by 52 Vitola, has an unfinished foot. It's not a shaggy, it's just unfinished. And uh, it's got a, a mottled wrapper, veiny, toothy, very rustic. Um, what more can I say? It's a rustic looking stogie, but everything I hear from those that have had the pleasure of hitting one of these is that it is outstanding. So, without further ado, I'm going to put a little cut on this. Fire it up. I already had the opportunity, by the way, to uh, give it a nice sniff. Um, Cocoa is what I could tell you. Spicy on the initial retro hail. Just putting it on my lips. I'm getting a uh, little pepper. Good draw. Definitely some pepper. Heck, almost Tabasco y when I retro hail through the nose. Um, and yet I've got not only pepper on my lips, but if I had to describe it, it'd be close to like a maple syrup, but a very, very slight maple syrup taste uh, along with the pepper. Well, let me get into this thing. Uh, I'm going to be interested to see how it evolves. Everybody's told me that this thing has evolution, you know, every finger width, every about half an inch to three quarters of an inch. So I may be doing very short, quick segments just describing the differences. Stay tuned. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. About an inch of the way into this Tatuai Black Label. And uh, so far, it's it's a smooth cigar. Um, some peppery notes. It's leaving almost a café con leche uh, taste on my palate. Um, some hints of nut. And uh, at this point, about an inch in, that's that's all I've got. Um, definitely a smooth cigar. So I'm going to let it get down to probably close to uh, two inches, unless something uh, develops in between, and I'll check back with you. Welcome back. About two inches in. Still a very enjoyable cigar. Uh, let's talk about the 
the draw, the burn, and the ash, um, since I haven't had much change in the uh, taste, leaving the uh, cafe con leche or coffee and cream uh, on my palate with a little hints of spice on the retrohale. The draw is exceptional, uh, burns nice and slow. Um, the burning is a little bit uneven, but nothing that I have to touch up. And the ash uh, is just like the way the cigar is made. It's very rustic. It's got a silvery uh, tone with some black modeling in it, and it's got a little little bursts of you know like a floral burst to it, but you know just rustic through and through. Um, the spice on the retrohale has mellowed quite a bit, and I'm still getting a little sweetness on the lips just by putting my my mouth on this stogie. So let me get it to about the halfway point, and I'll check back with you and tell you how this thing has evolved. Oh, um, the body, medium to full at this point. The strength, um, above average, you know. It's not making me dizzy, but it's definitely uh, definitely got some power. I'm back. Thirty-five minutes and about halfway in. Um, I'm starting to get now at the halfway mark. Some hints of, I guess what I would describe as almost ginger-like, uh, mixed in with definitely some nuttiness. The spice has receded quite a bit. It's still in the background, and I'm still getting, you know, the sweetness on the lips. Um, but that little ginger taste has has evolved somewhat. Again, these are just like almost like nuances of flavors um, that tend to come in and go out. So it's a pretty complex stogie. Again, the burn hasn't uh, changed at all. It's very uneven and flowery, almost burst-like. Um, but overall, a very complex cigar. Not a powerhouse. Um, definitely full-bodied. I'll get back to the uh, the bottom end of this thing when I come back, and we'll sum it up. Welcome back. We're on the bottom end of this uh, Tatuaje Black Label. And I must say the spice is now built back up on the back end of this stogie. The burn is evened out. Um, still have a nice sweetness that you get on the lips. Uh, the finish has evolved a little bit from uh, Café con Leche to uh, more powerful spice mixed in with that. Um, so let's sum it up overall. Construction, excellent. Uh, appearance, rustic. Burn, very good. Um, you know, uneven. Uh, only needed one touch up. Uh, the ash is a silvery with mottled black look, which is also rustic. Uh, power is above average. Body is full. Overall, a very enjoyable stogie, um, but I'm going to agree to disagree with my uh, smoking buddies. Uh, I still favor the Tatuaje Kohonu uh, 2003 over this. However, this is an excellent cigar, very complex. Until next week, this is El Cubanito signing off. Check out the website, www.elcubanitocigars.com. Leave some comments, tell me what you think. Try one of these babies out. They are good.